Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today, it's pretty cold outside, minus 29 degrees Celsius. I'm going to go ahead and go through some of the things I do when it gets this cold regarding how I start my vehicles, and I may do a start on the bus. All right, I'm going to try to hold the video as steady as possible. So, first things first, battery blanket. This just keeps your battery warm and helps it with the cold weather and keeping your cranking amps up. Uh, it feels kind of warm. The battery still feels pretty cold, so. It's definitely not as hot as I thought it would be. Uh, second thing, the car comes with a block heater. It's definitely a must in Alberta, so I've got both of these plugged in. I don't know, maybe I pop the breaker on this. I don't know, the, uh, the light is still on, so it's still got power. I guess the battery blanket should be plugged in overnight. I mean, I've got this strap around it to try and keep it warm. <clears throat> so it's still minus 30 outside this thing's sitting in the shade I'm gonna fire it up Well, it started. It's not happy about it. Sheesh. Put this in normal mode. <clears throat> We're gonna let this run for a while before we go anywhere so that it all warms up and... All right. Well, as you can tell, it's pretty cold outside. Minus 30 is, uh, significantly cold and you don't really want to spend a heck of a lot of time out there. Usually immediately after I've started the vehicle I always unplug whatever it is that's been plugged in. That way I don't forget about it. I'll go ahead and do that now. You can tell it's cold when your cords are stiffer than an ironing board. And this back hatch also doesn't like to open when it's cold. Yeah, it looks. I did. I bought this. I bought this um, cord from Canadian Tire. It's supposed to be. A little bit more pliable in the cold weather, which it's definitely more than that cord for sure, so maybe we'll start using that in the future. Oh, you just, you just can't do anything, can you? Junk. Well, I'm going to take five or ten minutes here, probably make a tea, and uh, I'm going to warm up and then we'll go and see if there's something we can do with the bus. Now, typically I don't really like to, uh, you know, needlessly cold start something. Uh, it's very hard on the engine, and I don't think it's going to start anyways because it's minus 30. But maybe we'll cycle the glow plugs a few times and just see what it does just for curiosity's sake. Um, typically, if I, was, if I wanted to get that thing running and take it somewhere in minus 30, definitely battery blankets. I don't have battery blankets on it, but I would put battery blankets on it and have those plugged in and then an oil pan heater. And I don't have a coolant circulatory heater, 
installed on it yet, but I, I plan to do that in the springtime. It's way too cold to be installing something like that right now. Um, if I had a shop, I would do it and then test it out, see how good it works. But I do have the, I have the little coolant heater that I bought a long time ago, and I could install it on there. Maybe if my, uh, well, it's probably next time I get home from work, it's not going to be that cold. Well, I'm definitely not installing a coolant heater in minus 30. <laughs> How stunned are you? About 6 out of 10. Alright, well, the car's warming up. Maybe I'll go and get a coffee. Or tea, I mean. Instead of making one. Oh, I don't have tea here anyways. Bollocks. Well, I guess we're going for a drive. Alrighty. Oh, be crikey. Well, I guess we're going to get some tea from Timmy Ho. Welcome, Timmy Ho. Oh, bollocks. That's what happens when you don't have a stand. We'll put you down there for now. Looking at my nostrils. Put these sunglasses on that are only steel framed and it's been sitting in minus 30. <laughs> well, there's Bob. Hey, Bob. She getting on today. I do like a nice breeze when it's minus 20. What the hell is this guy doing? Simmer down. <clears throat> See, I'd be more inclined to show a video of me driving, but I'm currently in the place where I live, and I don't want people to know where I live. Because then I'm going to have millions of fans coming by my house. I just don't have the capacity for that. Millions. Look at this person. Hang on a minute now. Running the old scootilator in minus 30. They're a trooper. <laughs> Not for me. Now that is dedication, let me tell you. Heading into work at A&W. I'm going down to A&W. Give me a pop of burger for breakfast. a and is definitely an old person restaurant from back in the day. Because normally, like, older folks go to restaurants in the morning for coffee and have a little chat and maybe a sandwich or whatever. And you'd think they'd do that at coffee shops, but they don't in this town. They all go to a and And sometimes Smitty's also known as shitties. <laughs> Good one. Yeah, well, you know, their food's not the greatest there. I mean, bacon and eggs, how do you mess that up? So I guess this still qualifies as a cold start bid ya, because we started the car in minus 30, but I plugged it in, so most people don't plug their vehicles in. Typically I don't mind starting the vehicles at minus 15 or so, minus 10. Not really going to do too much damage due to the viscosity of the oil that's in the engine, but you know, when it's, when it's minus 30, minus 35, like, those are temperatures you don't want to screw around with. You need to get that oil warmed up so that it lubricates the engine when you start it. Okay. We are in the lineup at Tim Hortons. I do enjoy Earl Grey tea. Oh, the windows aren't froze up. Come on in. Hi there. Could I get a extra large Earl Grey tea double double? Yeah. That's everything. See you at the window. Thank you. Maybe you want to dial the volume down a little bit there. Potentially say hello. <laughs> uh, 
Some people's antics really makes a guy laugh, you know. This is just excellent content, watching me go and get my Earl Grey tea. I go for the play. Deb it. Mm. Oh, bollocks. Thank you. I've now returned home. Okay. So this will be a true cold start on the bus, I guess. Not sure if it's going to start or not. <clears throat> but we're going to find out. Oh, that breeze is not nice. Let's see if the battery's held up. Oh, that's stiff. This is not a good idea at all. I don't even know. Everything is stiff. That's the brake booster barely coming on there. This is absolutely 100% not going to start. <laughs> okay, we'll do two rounds of the glow plugs. There you go. Cold start, no start. <laughs> And there you have it. Minus 30, she's a no start. Now, there is, uh, I believe, an oil pan heater on this unit. Let's go into the shed. My hands are froze already. <sighs> okay. <laughs> so as you can see, the bus is a absolute no start when it comes to minus 30 degree temperatures. Uh, and most diesels are are like that, at least the older diesels anyways. Newer ones you can start in that cold weather, it's still hard on them. So the bus has a oil pan heater on it. It's just a silicone orange pad that you can get at Canadian Tire. And it was on there from the previous owner, so I'm not sure if that actually works. I've never plugged it in and tried it. Uh, one thing we could do is plug it in and use the temperature gauge to see if it's heating up at all. So that's an option. Um, but yeah, I'm not, I wouldn't sit there and keep cranking and cranking and cranking because it's, I'm not damaging the bus just for YouTube views. So, but we do know at uh, minus 30 that she's a no start. So that's, that's good to know. Um, you know, minus, minus 10, it was still good to go. Somewhere between minus 10 and minus 30 degrees Celsius, she's a no go. Exactly what that number is. Well, it's dependent on a few things, really. So, what we should do the rest of this video, I think, uh, well, we'll plug that block heater in, if I can find the cord for it. Uh, I, I can't remember where it was ran. If I have to open the hood, then the bus is dead in the water, because I can't open the hood with it being so tight to the fence like that. Which is, honestly, the other day when I had it running, I thought about uh, backing it up so that I'd be able to open the hood. And that's as far as it went. It was just a thought, so... Well, I'll go have a look under there and see if I can find the cord. Oh, I see a cord hanging down there. But where does it go? Nobody knows. Comes to the front. There it is. So why is there two? Why is there two? One must be a block heater, one must be an oil pan heater. So maybe we'll plug that in and see what happens. So that is the oil pan heater there. You can see it strapped on. You can also see some you know, oil leaks and stuff like that. 
That's what's concerning me about uh, starting this up in the cold. Fahrenheit. Minus four Fahrenheit. Oh, now this thing doesn't want to work. No, that thing ain't working. Okay, well, at least we know. Maybe the block here on the side of the block is working. Oh, oops. Oh, oh, well, there you have it. That's a, we're going to call that a cold start, no start. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I'm not about to try and ruin the bus for for YouTube views, so we're just gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna unplug it. I'm not leaving it plugged in because I'm not going to try to start it. It's uh, it's just simply not worth it. So we know now until we do some further work to the bus, like installing that uh, coolant recirculation heater. So once we get one of those installed, we should have a better shot at starting it. And that will be that will be a springtime job. So, so I think we'll call that a uh, cold start, no start. Um, it's just simply not worth uh, trying to start the bus at this temperature. Um, I could leave it plugged in, and uh, see if maybe the other block heater that's in there, aside from the oil pan heater, the actual block heater, if that's working, and try to start it. But it's it's just not worth it. I don't want to screw up the bus. So, we're gonna call it there. Shut down the video. Hit the like button if you're already a subscriber. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button. It's free. doesn't cost you a dime, and it helps me out. And we'll be able to show more people what's going on with the bus and some of my crazy antics. <laughs> so uh, thanks again for watching, guys, and I uh, hope you have a good day there. Bye. It is customary to say goodbye.